Hello, uh, intermediate and advanced painting students. I wanted to talk to you today about the second assignment. Um, and this is just a reminder that your first assignment is due on the 25th. So attached to this email are a selection of paintings that I had attached uh, with the last assignment, except the ones that you'll see here have all been um, altered to make the uh, next assignment happen successfully. So uh, let's just go ahead and begin. As you can see, this is the diagram that I asked everybody to do. And as far as the demo is concerned, I'll go ahead and play it for you real quick and I'll uh, talk a little bit. So as you can tell, uh, I have posted on the wall next to the canvas um, the uh, diagram, which I did a, uh, a copy of. Um, so you can um, see that it's just a cursory drawing done with charcoal on the canvas, which is no smaller than 12 by 17 inches. Um, it's been gessoed and has a one inch border on it. So as you can tell, as I go along, I'm using a palette knife exclusively, which is what I'd ask you guys to do for this particular assignment. And I'm making every attempt to try and find each and every color relationship sequentially, meaning uh, I started, as you can tell, on the upper left-hand corner, and I'm putting it together very much like uh, a puzzle or a mosaic. Um, if you don't have Canvas, let me know uh, by email, and I can put some uh, Canvas together and have it ready for you to come pick up. Um, uh, so make sure that, you know, every move that you make counts. You're going to have to mix a specific color to apply to the specific place in which you're examining from the um, image that I've also attached, once again, to the uh, email. Um, <clears throat> you can either pin your canvas to a wall like I have here, or if you want to tape it to a drawing board, um, you can do that as well. All right, so the point is, is to try to find a sequence of color relationships throughout um, and to continue to move through this painting until you've gotten to a point where uh, you've understood everything as it applies to finding one color relationship next to another. So this is the example that I've done. Let me know, of course, if you have any questions uh, here's just a photo of the palette knife that I want everybody to use. As you can tell, it has a kind of uh, diamond-like shape to it, and it makes uh, it much easier to, for instance, get a hold of smaller color relationships that have uh, these long kind of drawn shapes where you would use the edge of the palette knife. All right. Um, I hope... Uh, this demo makes sense. You can, of course, you know, pause it and and look closely, for instance, at um, each move as I go along. And you can see how uh, matter of fact and clear and structured everything is. Okay. All right. So uh, the due date on this is going to be the first of February. Um, let me know, of course, if you have any questions and um, I can uh, respond as promptly as I possibly can um, after uh, I get your email. All right. Thank you.